Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. It's your boy Kilo, and I'm here to make sure y'all stay woke. So in a previous video, y'all saw me getting destroyed against some high schoolers. I'm gonna be uh, posting posting basketball videos every Sunday. That's a good way to bring the community together and have fun with each other, you know, something positive. So um, next week hopefully is better. I was unable to record this previous Sunday because it was Easter, so I want to say Happy Easter to all. But I had something on my mind today that I wanted to share with you guys, and I wanted to talk about holding yourself accountable. We talked about the friends you hang around and stuff like that, but it also starts with holding yourself accountable. You shouldn't depend on you shouldn't depend on other people holding you accountable as much as you should depend on yourself holding you accountable. You know, so I'm gonna jump right into it, and you know, it's a lot of people who are not content or not happy with where they are in life. It's a lot of people like that. And that's a day-to-day -day thing. You can be happy one day, sad the next day because you haven't obtained or achieved your goals. But I'm here to let you guys know that all goals are achievable if you just start out by believing in yourself. There is power in believing in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you, walk, you, you carry yourself a little bit differently than if you were just doing it just to do it. You know, so with me, everything that I do, I give it my best effort and I believe in myself from the start, no matter what anybody has to say. I can't tell you how many people have failed and how many people have cut themselves short because they listened to what somebody else had to say about the situation that they got on, got going on. You know, everybody's different. So everybody can't take advice from everyone. Everybody's different. You got to be able to distinguish the advice you're taking from somebody and use it for, for the positives. Always look at the positive standpoint. But back to what I was talking about, about holding yourself accountable, man. Daily, daily, I feel like we should be reflecting on ourselves daily. Look at the previous day. Try to make you a daily goal to, to get ready to try to tackle the next day. Because what that does is that starts to help you build small blocks. And with those small blocks, you eventually get to a house. Will Smith, one of the famous actors you guys all know, he said, you can never start out at a house. You gotta start out building the small blocks until you get to a house. And what most of us in this generation believe is that we dream something and it's just a house that's just gonna appear, just gonna uh, appear out of nowhere. That's not, that's not true. And we know that that's not true. So the thing is, we need to start picking up those bricks and building our house. We need to start picking up those bricks day by day and building our dreams. Inky Johnson, one of the best motivational speakers that has ever lived, he said, you should never wish for something more than you're willing to work for it. If you out here wishing for something more than you're willing to work for it, then you need to look yourself in the mirror and hold yourself accountable and and go back to the go back to the playbook go back to the drawing board so you can better yourself because wishing nothing comes out of wishing you have to do you have to do nothing good comes out of wishing you can have a dream that's a start you can have a goal that's a start but you will not obtain your goal unless you work every single day to get towards it man i had a weight loss journey in the past three or four months, I've lost about, I want to say, 45 pounds, you know? And it was easier for me because my major is exercise physiology, so I have a lot of knowledge in that area. But it was also difficult because losing weight, anybody who's had a weight journey knows that it's difficult. And some days I will wake up just wishing, like, man, I want to eat unhealthy, but I still, I still want to lose weight. I'm wishing that I can lose weight and eat McDonald's at the same time. I'm wishing I can get abs and not work on my abs at the same time. I'm wishing that I can, I'm wishing that I can, you know, get some more bulk and I'm not eating the right proper amount of protein at the same time. That doesn't work. Wishing and doing is two totally different actions. We need to focus on doing more than we focus on wishing. And when we fall short, instead of blaming the next person, you need to look yourself in the mirror and look at what you did to get you to that point. Every situation in your life, you have a say-so in what happens to every single aspect of you in your life. 
So instead of looking at the other person, oh, they're the reason why I didn't go there. Oh, they're the reason why I went out that night. Oh, this the reason. Look at what you did first and analyze yourself before you point your finger at anybody else. Because what that does is that creates a pity party for you. And you want to know what a pity party is? Everybody know what a pity party is. But do you want to know the negative down effects on a pity party? You convince yourself that it's okay or your brain convinces yourself that talking about other people and blaming them is a bailout for you to be less than what you're destined to be. And that's not right. Because everybody is destined for greatness. Every single person is destined for greatness. You just got to want it. You just got to want it. You just have to believe that you can move mountains. If you don't believe that you can move a mountain, you will never move one. This shit all start with you believing in yourself. Internal motivation, I feel, is greater than external motivation. Because if you work in a job just for some money, eventually that job, is, you're going to get tired of the job. But if you work in a job because you internally love the job, because you have a passion for the job, you're going to stay, stay with the job and stick with the job because it's what you love to do. It's an internal motivation. You're not doing it for money. You will also be a better worker because you're not just doing it for the money. You're doing it because you actually love what the fuck you doing. Start holding yourself accountable, man. I used to sit here and blame he say, she say for what, for, for me not being what I want to be. That shit don't work. All that do is make you sad, make you depressed, make you, man, I ain't there. Well, get your ass up and get the. I hate reading. I did a little research on reading. And most people that are that are readers are successful. Warren Buffett, one of the richest, most successful men in the world. They asked him, "What is the success to your to what is the what is the key or the tips to your success?" And Warren Buffett said, "Books. I read. I hate reading, dude. I done been I done been through grad school. I done been through grad school. And if the teacher say read this lesson." Shit, sometimes I came to class without even preparing myself. How do I expect to succeed without preparing myself? Reading helps you prepare for the for the hardships of life. That's why reading is so important. You're, you're learning as you're reading. Make sure you're reading stuff that is fruitful, stuff that is helpful. You're learning. But the stuff that you're reading, make sure that you're comprehending. I don't care if it takes me a day to read four pages. I would rather sit there and reread those four pages until I completely understand as opposed to skimming past it and missing some information that be, may be useful for me to help me with my life. Or a certain standpoint in my life where I needed some information in a book and I didn't read those pages correctly and understand or ask someone for help. And I missed out on an opportunity because I misread some information. Make sure that you comprehend the information correctly. <laughs> but it all starts with us not blaming others for what we got going on with our lives, man. Yeah, someone may have a motive for what, what happened to you. But don't sit there and harp them for it. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and continue to move forward, man. I'm Kilo. Make sure you stay woke. Get it. John Prison. They got me laughing. Hey. Uh. These niggas really.